Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons. But that which is natural, but that which is natural, meaning you, you are corner brother, because guess what? You're not keeping a you command. Come, you come from that, though? It's afterwards. You come from that, that's just spiritual. You know, we call it slander, right? You know, we call it, you want you to stop. Hold up, hold up. This is brother, we're not slander. Verse 47. The first man is of the and earth. The first man was of the earth. I, Adam, read on. Earthly, earthly, fleshly, carnally, brother, read on. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Read that again, up. Huh? The second man is the Lord from heaven. Got our axes all together. The, the second, second man is the, the Lord, Lord from heaven. No Israel. The, the second, second man, man is the Lord from, from heaven. heaven. Came from heaven, ah, uh, uh, Christ, uh, brother. That's why I'm telling you, playing upon tables, brother. That's but right. you struggle because you're not keeping the commandments. Can't never struggle. Give me a song, chapter 111 in verse 2. What's your name, man? What's your name? I'm uh, Captain Benanaya, brother. Captain Benanaya. What's your name? Israel. All right. So check this out. Uh, hold up. Real quick. Let me read this. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 7. Start at verse 5. Start at 1, verse Hey, you know the courthouse over got bridges too, don't you? Verse 5. No, they got bridges. But right? they're not doing, they doing that. That's but they're right. not doing the rest that's of the law, right. brother. Right. Guess what? We got the Bring damn atonement that's coming up. That's right. We got right. the feast of tabernacle that's, that's right. coming up. Right. Brother, you got to be keeping these I ain't these Jewish, things. bro. I ain't Jewish. You brother, we ain't Jewish either. That's right. We're the Israelites. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. right. You know they're not doing nothing that this Bible so says. Read this. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. Chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read that again up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you fear God, that's when you become wise. Read on. A good understanding. Hey, what? A good understanding. Hey, what? A good understanding. Read on. Have all day that do his command. Brother, in order to have a good understanding of the scriptures, you've got to be doing the command. That's right. That's right. Let me ask you, let me ask you this, man. Ezekiel 33, right? It says like a lovely song. Ezekiel 33 and verse 34, 35 when you're speaking, right? So, you know, those people in Genesis 19 didn't know they were dealing with angels, right? So they disrespected the angel. You know what I'm saying? When they walked up, the angel didn't have no a special yeah, they look type. Like regular men. So uh -huh. at the end of the day, we understand you go into the New Testament, which your New Testament tells you Hebrews 13 and 2 to entertain angels on the word. So we understand it. But hold up. What is the full definition of angels? Angels can mean now hold up. They can mean celestial. I can talk to you. Listen to me, brother. We got to go back and back. I don't deal with that microphone stuff. Brother, stop it. It's not for you. This is for the edification of all Israel, brother. So they got to hear these things too. Because you might be asking. But these are all Israelites, brother. We scattered amongst Israelites. These so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are Israelites, brother. They they don't know that. No, brother, cuz guess what? This don't bear spirit with ham, brother. Stop it. Give me a uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 16. He woke you up, but he left him behind. Brother, what do you think he got us out here for? To wake him up. A lot of our people not gonna hearken. You know you're an Israelite, but you ain't doing a damn thing that becomes an Israelite, brother. Brother, you're not, brother. You don't think your country's in trouble right now? My who? You don't think your country's in trouble right now? I don't have a country, bro. My country is Israel. Oh, country. We got over there, brother. We seek in a country according to Hebrews. Brother, we don't. Where's our country? Uh, give me a Deuteronomy. 11, Where's our country? 25. Any word that sows my feet trade is mine. Brother, we understand that. But brother, why are you not ruling right now then, bro? You're not ruling because guess what? You're not keeping the commandments, brother. Give me 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. See, I see you. You a talker, but you're not about that action, boss. That's right. That's right. Because guess what? My spirit is a lot more stronger than my words. Brother, what is the spirit according to the Bible? Bring it out. But since you don't read the New Testament, you wouldn't know that, brother. Give me John 6 and 6 and 3. Bring it out. Brother, it's the whole Bible. Not just the book of Genesis. Read this. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit. And you know it, too. Don't walk out, brother. It is the spirit that quick, the spirit that quickened that changes, we don't. The flesh probably did nothing. The flesh probably did nothing, we don't. The word. Hold on, read that slow. The word. The what? The word. The what? The word. Read up. 
that I speak unto you. They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. Read on up. They are life. So the spirit, the words of the Bible is what spirit. So Deuteronomy chapter 4, when he said, my voice, that was exclusive. So you got to hurry because obviously he's going to be exclusive. He's going to talk to you. Same way he talked to you in Genesis. Brother, he's talking to you right now, brother, through the prophets, brother. That's how he's talking to you, brother. Because like we just going over in class, what do God sound like, brother? What do he sound like? Because guess what? In the book of Exodus chapter 20, guess what? They were scared to hear the most high God's voice. They keep trembling at their presence, man. That's right. Go back to second Exodus. That's what they say, man. I don't go off what they say. That's what brother, so do we got to keep the law or not, bro? The law is in. Work them up, bro. If you ain't an Adam, you ain't got the law. That means you Genesis 3 and 14, 15, the beast got a seed here, and so does uh, uh, the chosen, which is Adam. So, bro, if you're not a chosen, you ain't got no seed. You're an animal. That means you can't comprehend. You can't understand logic and obedience. You can't be instructed. So I ain't got to deal with you. you, you God let you back your life. Second verse 18. Bring it out. That's Bring this out. Second Ezra's chapter. Uh, Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad I seen y'all in the white because I don't want to go down there deal with your buddies in the dark. Yo, good, yes. Chapter 7 and verse 18. Uh -huh. It is good well, that y'all should take it? hold of this. Yay. Also, you know? is that what from mean? this, withdraw not thy hand. Read this again, huh? It is good. That thou shouldest take hold of this. Brother, it's good that you take hold of these scriptures and apply these commandments to your life, you know? Right. Yay. Also. From this withdraw not thine hand. From this don't redraw your hand, brother. This is why you going off thinking you only got to read the book of Genesis, brother. Read on up. For he that feareth God shall come forth of them all. So if you fear in God, you're going to come forth out of all the books of the Bible. That's right. Give me Isaiah chapter 34, uh, verse 16. Wait, not hardly. Not when you Bible give me Hebrews 16. chapter 10, verse 7. See, some people feel good, bro, what you call theatrics, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, this is what this is talking, this is what we're talking about in Genesis 15. We'll be treated and treated evil for throwing a year. So when you Why got, was we treated evil? Why was we? Why was we? Oh, so you forgot Genesis 15 before we get to talking about Israel fell, right? The Lord told you that the Amorites, which is the Egyptian, which I hand was going to make the mistake, not the Israelites. So Read the book of God. The book of I'm going to tell you, that's on it some feels, deeper level. The sons of God going back to Genesis 6 is the ones that failed, bro. Read this out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh-huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No, the book of Genesis. Out of the book of the Lord. And what? And read. And what? And read. Brother, the Bible is commanding you to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. We don't know what the Bible is. No one of these shall fail. No one of these prophecies shall fail. So guess what? You get more prophecies that's throughout the Bible that's not in Genesis, brother. We don't. No. Shall what? Her message. So you can't make the Bible with no other book. We don't know. my mouth. It has commanded, uh -huh. and his spirit, it has gathered them. So the Bible, the most high God had commanded it, brother. And you're not even doing the basic right. commandment, you brother. Read this out. You know it, too. Read this. This is the book of yeah, Hebrews, chapter 10, verse right, 7. Bring it out. Then said, I, no. I come in the volume of the book. No, just in the book of Genesis. I come in the volume of the book. Read on up. It is written of me. It is what? It, it is written, written of me. Read on up. To do thy will. To do what? To, to do, do thy, thy will. will. Brother, the Bible, you got to come out of the volume of the book, brother. That's why you got, guess what? Only a snippet of understanding. If I went with the volume of the book, that means you have an advantage. I mean, according to Revelations, I mean... Brother, I already got an advantage over you because I'm keeping the commandments, brother. Right. Right. Give me 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Brother, yes, brother. Show me my sin. You give me Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 29. First John 3 and 18. I want you to listen to this. Read this. This is the book of First John, chapter three. How am I burn false witness? You say you don't keep the commandments. Burn false witness. Do you keep the commandments? If he told you his son's name is Israel, you talking about Jesus? You got a problem. Guess what? Christ you is an Israelite. His right. It was the same thing. You just didn't understand that. Is Christ that right? is in the tribe of Judah, That's so right. he is the Most High God's firstborn, right. man. You Read this. You put us a Chapter 19 and verse 29. Listen to this, brother. Amen. Maybe hey, no, brother. The whole point, day. Yeah, brother, you can't you can't debate your cause, brother. No, I don't debate. It ain't no debate about brother, me. Read this. I don't debate me. So you know, hey, 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 that has and understanding. And one that have understanding, read on. By his counsel. By his what? By, by his counsel. By how you carry yourself, your spirit, read on. When thou meetest him. When thou what? When thou I'm meetest him. I'm meeting you, read on. A man's attire. A man's what? A, A man's, man's attire. attire. No fringes, 
a what? A man's attire. Read on. An excessive left. An excessive what? An excessive left. A man's attire, the way he looks. No beard on your face. An excessive white. This is for pyramids. Read on. And gay. And what? And gay. The way he walk. Read on. Shoot what he is. It's showing what you is, brother. It's showing that you got to rebel your spirit. I'm asking you for one scripture, man. Why, what's the first scripture that points to the fact that you weren't that white? Why, why do you got that white on? What's brother, this is about? just the color, brother. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, it's more than the color. Now, guess what? When the Lord... It says that the priest... Give me that in Psalms chapter 139, verse 19. Uh, when, the, verse when, the Lord, when the Lord clothed Adam... Him and, him and Eve. What did he call him? We finna see what he called him with. Hey, we finna see if hey, you're doing that. Bring it out, huh? Give me Job chapter 29, verse 14, the precept to that. What color was the sheep? What color was who? What color was the sheep? We're doing, uh, when Adam. Jacob had the boy, he had no, seven sheep. I ain't talking about Jacob, I'm talking about Adam. I said, when the Lord called him, 132, verse 9. Oh, yeah, verse 9. Okay, okay, okay. Read this. Right. The, book of, this the book of Saul, chapter 132, and verse 9. Yeah. Let, let thy priest be clothed. With righteousness. Read that again, huh? Let thy priest be clothed with, with righteousness. righteousness. Oh, I ask you, brother. It says, let thy priest be clothed with righteousness. What is righteousness? The Bible said that, but you don't want to adhere to that commandment, brother. You don't want to take on the responsibility that priests have, brother. Give me Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. Bring it out. Brother, we all, we're going to read this. Let's see what the Bible says. You're the priest. I'm not the priest. Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. And you got to get corrected. So you know there's a correction for the priest, right? Read this. Let's see what the priest says. Book of Exodus chapter 19, and verse 6. And ye shall be unto me. A kingdom of priests. Hey, what? A, a kingdom, kingdom of, of priests. Who is that kingdom of priests? You keep talking about Israel. Israel. Israel is the kingdom of priests, That's brother. Right. So if you're claiming you Israel, then you are a priest, brother. Right. But guess what? Actions oh. speak louder than words, That's brother. Right. Oh. Oh. We're going to dialogue. So if you're a priest, according to Genesis 47 and verse 16, it tells you that the land belongs to the priest and not the Pharaoh. He got the fifth part, right? So this is spiritual region. So over here, as a priest, you're supposed to be able to claim your land. So people talking about they're not free. We're still in bondage. But you over in spiritual region, you know your what? Nationality. I'm going to tell you, Nationality supersedes so-called race, religion, all the above. So I live by nationality. But what was the penalties for us not keeping the commandments? That we right. wouldn't have a homeland, bro. Right. Right. Give me Deuteronomy right. chapter 28, verse 6 to 8. Bring it out, huh? 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 Bring it out, huh?
Bring it out. Bring it out. You know what? Bring it out. You know what? Bring it out. 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 Ain't nobody gonna put the other Israelites out of his land. Bro, let me so tell you something. Let me keep this your land, you. brother. That's what you say. Brother, stop it. You, you, you ain't got no power over here in America, That's brother. Right. You damn right. sure ain't got no power while you're not keeping the commandments, brother. Right. This is our only power, brother. Read this out. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1. Read on. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Of the what? Of the Most High. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Meaning the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. We don't shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So guess what? We gonna abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We don't I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my what? He, he is, is my refuge. We don't not in my voice. In my what? In, in my voice. We don't not. We don't go nowhere. We don't not. My God. My what? My God. We don't not. And Him with I trust. We don't. Surely he shall deliver me, deliver thee from the snares of the flower. Of the what? Of the flower. Of the flower. Of the flower. We don't. And from the the nurse the nurse of pestilence. We don't. That's going to the that nuclear destruction. Oh, what you got? We don't. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And guess what? We gonna be covered by the Most High God's feathers. Look yes, down in verse five. Verse five. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. By what? For the terror by right. night. We don't not. Nor for the arrows that fly by day. Nor by the arrows that fly by day. This is talking about ICBMs, man. Right. Right. Thermonuclear weapons, right. brother. Right. We don't right. know. Nor for the pestilence right. that walk in the darkness. Nor for the pestilence that walk in the darkness because you in darkness, kill brother. Kill because kill you're not keeping the commandments. We don't. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Nor for the destruction that's coming to America that wasted at noonday. That's, that's some deep stuff. Because guess what? When a nuclear bomb hit, it gives off what? Nuclear waste, brother. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Real quick, Genesis 3 and 22, right? Uh -huh. So in order for it to be a nuclear, that means he's going to wipe out Adam and everybody, right? Brother, uh, he's wiping no, 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 out no, 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 the wicked of our people. Let me say this. I'm Go ahead. You know in, order for him to live, in order for him to live forever, he ain't going to destroy Adam to make sure that he's secure in the spirit when he had his spirit. You feel me? That's the whole confusion about Jesus lives forever in the spirit, but he had his father's spirit. So it's stupid. It's an oxymoron. But I'm going to put it to you like this. He going to remove people who don't belong here up out of the land. We going to read hold this. Hold, 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 hold up. Let me read it. Go ahead. Exodus 33 and verse 34, he says, I'm going to visit them individually, whoever sins against me. So I'm going to deal with you one-on-one. -on -one. I ain't going to take care of everybody. I'm going to deal with you Brother, he deals with us individually and by nation, brother, because we went into captivity as a nation. Read this. Out. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Oh, let's read this. Out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, and verse 1. Bring it up. The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. We don't With no man pursuit. Guess what? We didn't chase that brother away. Him not keeping the commandments and these scriptures was just in that behind off, man. We don't know. But the right. But the what? But the right. Guess what? The righteous are the ones that's striving to keep the commandments, man. Like we are. Trying to be that light to our people that's in darkness. Right. Read on up. Our bone as a light. Our white. Our, our bone as a light. Just like the scriptures say to make thy cause, man. Right. Bring forth thy strong reason, man. That brother doctor didn't have a land to stand up on, man. That's right. Give me some, I mean, uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 2. Read this. Uh, this is the book yeah. of Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. Bring it out. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord. That in all the land, said the Lord. Meaning this land over here, singular. That's right. Read on up. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Read that again now. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So guess what, man? That brother's a part of the two-third clothes if he don't wake up and repent, man. Right, bro. He's going to be cut off and die in this land, man. Right, it's no game out of here. Most like God is bringing destruction to our people, man. Right, bro. Bring on up. But the third shall be left therein. But the third is going to be left therein, man. We That's finally right. going to get up out of this captivity, man. That's right. You give me First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Read this. Uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. Bring it out. Oh, I give you good doctrine. Uh-huh. Forsake ye not my law. Read that again. Uh. But I give you good doctrine. So the Most High God gives us good doctrine. Let's see what the doctrine is. Read on. Forsake ye not my law. It says forsake ye not my law. That's right. So, so you understand the Bible, sis? Do you read the Bible, sis? Do you believe the Bible? Come talk to us, sis, a little bit. Come deal with us, sis. We out here for you. Get that sister a hand, brother. This for you, too. I think I got one. You say you read it a little bit? Do you believe the things I said now? 
When I ask you what's your nationality according to, to the Bible, what would you tell me? Yeah, what's your race, your ethnicity according to the Bible? Oh, sister, the good thing to say, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Because if you don't know, hey, you have to lay your hand over your mouth, sis. That's why we are here to teach our people. We are here to teach our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who they are according to the Bible. So if your father will be a so-called African American, look on this sign, sis. You will be from the tribe of what? You were not born in Africa. Judah, we know that. You will be from the tribe of what? From Judah, sis. Right. Guess what? The Most High God brought us over here for a curse because guess what? We broke his commandments. Sis. Right. That's because right. if I ask you how many commandments are there? How many commandments are there? How many would you tell me, sis? See, we get all types of numbers, but it's over 613 commandments. That's right. Yes. But guess what? America has more laws than this, and we try our best to try to keep these laws. Hold on, 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 hold on lady. Yeah, I got Do not discuss your neighbor. Sister. You got a spirit on you. That's right. That's Mark chapter 4, verse 14. Because you trying to learn the word, you got Satan here trying to take the word away. That's, right. That's why we tell brothers and sisters, this is a spiritual fight out here, sis. So guess what? Did you know it was a commandment for you having discerning dress code, sis? What, what does the Bible say about how a woman should dress? All oh, praises, oh, praise sis. You know these things. Read this. Out. Timothy 2 and 9. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. So an article of clothing that our women wear that women. pertain to men or pants. Read on. That's right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Because guess what? You would look at a man crazy if he had a dress on right. We don't know. But all they do so. Or abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the most high God hates his children being out of dress code, sis. Read this out. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Break it out. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In what? In With modest, modest apparel. apparel. Sister, what is modest apparel according to the Bible? That's right. A dress down to the foot, not showing the shape of your body, sis. The shape of your body is only for your husband, sis. Right. This is what we are here trying to teach our people. To guess what? Keep law, statutes, and commandments so that you can make it to the kingdom of heaven. Because that's ultimately the goal, right? How do we get the kingdom of heaven, sis? That's right, sis. Steadfast and unmovable. That's right. Always abiding in the word of the God, that's in the right. most high God. But what's in the word of God? The law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's, that's one right. of the main things that our people are not doing, sis. Because guess what? The, la the law is, is slacking our nation. That's, right. that's why he's sending us out here to put the laws back into our people. Read this, huh? Read this. The book of Matthew, ch chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, what came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master. What good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this man came to Christ and asked him the same thing I asked you. What shall you do that you may have eternal life? Give me John 14, 15. Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So the man, Christ said, Why are you calling me good? Read on. There is none good but one. Uh-huh. That is God. Who's like That is God. Uh-huh. But if thou wilt enter it's a life. You want the kingdom of heaven, sis. Let's see what the Bible tells us. Let's see what Christ said. Read on. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. commandments. So how do you make it to the kingdom of heaven, sis? The That's right, That's right. sis. Because right. we say that we love right. God. Right, sis? Do you actually love God? Ain't love an action word, sis. What do you think love is according to the Bible? Obey. Obey. Say it again. Obey, Obey what, though? The word, the command. That's, That's right. right. That's exactly right. Read this. Uh, this is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. If ye love me, keep my command. Do what up? Keep, keep my, my command. command. Do what up? Keep, keep my, my command. command. We said we love God, but guess what? If we're not doing nothing that the Bible says, we actually don't love him. That's and right. the Bible actually calls us a liar. Give me 1 John 2 and 3. It's supposed to be. Dinner. Are you keeping the command? Because it's sister, guess what? You out of order, drinking a beer and so forth. That's out of order. That's not ladylike, sis. You understand me? What that means, sis? That's showing ladylike. The uh, first John two and three. Read this. Uh, this the book of First John chapter two verse three. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The only way so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know the Most High God is if we are keeping the commandments. That's right. You saying that you know God and you not doing what the Bible tells you to do? You a liar. Read on. Right. He just said. 
I know him uh-huh. and keeping not his commandments. It's a life. It's a what? It's, it's a, a life. life. It's a what? It's, it's a, a life. life. We don't, uh, and the truth is not in him. And guess what? The truth is not in him. So guess, guess what? That's what we have to be striving to do, sis, because you say you love him, but are you keeping the commandments? So that's right. But now you have an opportunity to guess what? Get your life back together. You understand me, sis? So guess what? Next time we see you, are you going to have a long body dress on? It's not hard to get. Do you think they hard to get? You can go to the thrift store, get some for about two or three dollars, put you some fringes on that thing. Sister, guess what? You're a, a princess of the most high God, sis. Right. Guess what? We need to practice this righteous rehearsal. Give me that in Judges chapter 5 verse 11. Because right. guess what? We don't have all day to get these things right, sis. We only got an amount of time. Give me Psalms 119 verse uh, 59. Hmm? What does that mean, sis? I don't know. I know. You just need to shh and listen. And read this. Then we're going to judge chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Of what? Of archers. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Because guess what? The most high God is bringing thermal nuclear destruction That's to right. America. He brought us over here not to live the good life, but to repent, sis. That's right. Right. In the places of drawing water. The places of drawing water is in servitude. Because guess what? We on the bottom of society in every facet. Right. We the right. first fire, last hire. Right. The right. first one to get dumped down by the police. Right. In the ghetto, in the slums. Right. Ain't y'all tired of living like this, man? We don't know. Bro, we you know. Death. Shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord? There, over here in this captivity, right. shall we rehearse the righteous acts of That's the Lord? Right. So guess what? Sometime in rehearsal, you Thank mess you up. Move. But the thing is, you need to strive to guess what? Get it perfected. Thank Thank we don't know. Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. In what? In yeah. Israel. Read this, huh? This the, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my way. Do what? I, I thought, thought on my way. way. King David said he thought on his ways. You got to read the pros and the cons, sis. Right. Whether it's worth you not missing out on the kingdom, sis. Read on. And turn my feet right. unto thy testimony. You got to turn your feet to the testimony of this Bible, sis. Read on. I made haste. What did King David do? I, I made, made haste. King David made haste, sis. Meaning right. he hurried up to get in order with the most high God, read on. And delay not. And then put off, read on. So keep thy commands. To do what? To, to keep, keep thy commands. And put off. To guess what? Keep the commands. That's what you gon' get with that war. War. Yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before We the battle axe is God's weapons of war We the battle axe is God's weapons of war